Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today I want to talk about how you build a consistent visual brand. Ooh, just gonna consult my notes. Okay so obviously this is like a big subject and I do a lot of this on a daily basis and I cater everything to the individual, to the individual artist or band and their needs. So I'm going to try and be very concise and just cover the basics in this video to give you an idea and hopefully a kickstart in the right direction. So there are basically many options you can play with when putting together your consistent visual brand and these are include but are not limited to hair and makeup, styling, clothes, accessories, photography style, editing style, colour scheme, different themes, art themes, movements, um, art styles, locations. Yeah, you get the picture. Each little element within the creative can be built on and used as a consistent way of building a visual brand. So picking something or a number of things within these categories that makes you stand out, that is unique to you, has to be authentic, obviously. And being consistent with that on an ongoing basis is how you start to build your visual brand which eventually will paint the whole picture of your whole brand the visual is obviously a small part of that but yeah it's one of those little details that is really important and actually quite obvious when you do it consistently over time it makes you recognizable familiar and basically communicates who you are as an artist visually and lets the fans know that and know what they're getting from you every time. If you're watching this and you want to build your brand and your visuals but you have absolutely no budget and you're like, I can't do this on no money, you can, you just have to be a bit more creative and adapt. Obviously, if you're working with zero budget, do not make crazy pushing boundaries outfits as one of your factors that you're going to be consistent with, like Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, those guys, that was one of their things, they became known for that. Every appearance or red carpet event, they pushed the boundaries further with their outfits and that became something that they were known for. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. But if you are working with a budget, then consider something like colour scheme, like the white stripes. Um, that's a really obvious one. You instantly associate that with them, you know that, that that's what they do, and it's incredibly simple. So just bend this to work with you and your budget, and yeah, consider all your options and see what works best for you. Obviously it has to be authentic, so don't just pick an obvious colour scheme because it's easy if it doesn't feel true to you, because that will also show and you just won't be happy. And if you're not happy and not feeling it, then that will then convey to your audience and other people as well. So you could have one really obvious element, like the white stripes do, their colour scheme is so dominant. Or you could have a few different things going on, a bit more subtle maybe, and find a few things that work in harmony with you and your brand and work from them. For example, you could have a colour scheme and then a certain hairstyle that's unique to you um, and then pair that with a certain photography style. And there you've got the beginnings of something really special and authentic and unique to you. You just basically build that foundation and then you are consistent with it and that's how it goes. Also, these things that you're going to pick to be consistent with, you don't have to use them 100% of the time. Like, I mean, I think the white stripes do. <laughs> Bad example, lol. Um, but if you pick a colour, say, you don't have to like wear that colour head to toe all the time, every single day, that would be mental. So just be consistent enough with it that it becomes familiar to the people watching you, but don't overdo it. So find the sweet spot between obviously never doing it and doing it 100% of the time, and just put it out there, be consistent, but obviously break it up as well. And again, you have to decide on which factors you're gonna build from and how often you're gonna use them. So it is a lot of decisions and obviously that's what I help artists with, but if you are able to do that on your own, then hopefully this will give you a bit more of an understanding and a starting point to then build your visuals and build your brand and yay. And I'm gonna to touch on here as well, just on Sia, um, cause she's an excellent example of this. She obviously hides her identity and has made that part of her visuals. So again, just cater everything to you. So if you do want to conceal your identity or I don't know, you want to always be facing backwards and not frontwards or anything, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it sounds weird. If it feels right for you and you want to do it, run with it. Um, but anything that you feel like that, that you're uncomfortable with, make it a part of your brand. That's the beauty of this. 
and building an authentic brand is that you can do whatever feels most exciting or right for you. So yeah, just a little important point there on the end. I hope that's helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye!